you think that you could actually kill somebody. If someone isn't born killer, how do they reach that point? It's just kind of about loss, you know? It's, it's, um, he, you know, my character in the movie is kind of, you know, experiences the loss first of his, of his girlfriend, and then it's, and then it's his best friend, you know, who's, who's, you know, there, you know, he's present physically, but he's, you know, become a completely different person, so. I think loss is really a, 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 you know, big part of what the movie's about. It's sort of a pretty accurate uh, portrayal of young, young people and young love and and um, and all of the the insanity that goes with it. You know, everyone sort of can go through, um, you know, really trying times in their life and and all of a sudden almost, you know, be a different person too. Hello. All right. I kind of like um, like all types of movies and all types of scripts, you know. Um, and haven't done. I've done mostly sort of like I've fallen into more like heavy dramas, darker stuff, and and that's sort of a product I think of you know you, you know doing a series of them, and then it's like that's kind of how people see you, and those are the films that come your way, you know, and, um, and, and, and they're great, and, um, and I'm glad to, to um, you know, be considered for things like that, but um, I'm also uh, interested in lighter stuff, believe it or not, you know, comedy, um, and, you know, I, I like, I love a good, like, action movie, I mean, to Terminator 3, you know, was, I just thought it was great and so much fun. Genre is, is sort of irrelevant when it comes to how how something's written or the quality of something, you know. In 20 years, there's probably like, you know, one or two movies that, you know, my daughter could watch when she was four, you know. Um, so it would be kind of fun to do something that she could actually see, you know, one day. <laughs> I kind of had it uh, already, you know, with like my mother, you know. I mean, there's certain movies I've done uh, where, you know, I was kind of freaked out about her seeing, you know, um, movies she did see that I was like, oh God, you know, it's, I did not want that to happen. Um, and, um, you know, and she, she was great. She's like, you know, the most supportive, loving mother, and she's, you know, she's just totally petrified by the movie, but she's like, you know, it wasn't my thing, but you're amazing, or whatever, you know, um, but uh, she's not from New York, I don't know why it sounded that way, um, she's written a couple other scripts um, based on people he knew and grew up with, and in fact, um, the character, uh, you know, his, his name is Chris in the movie, and he's actually... The actor is Chris Clark. Um, he is a friend who grew up with James, and he's actually kind of playing himself. I don't know if that's something I should, was this some kind of secret or something. But so I mean, it, it you know very much. It seems he he draws from his childhood experiences, teen, you know, teenage experiences, growing up in uh, Virginia. So, hello, hello. Sorry? No, I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Bye. No, I might have just lied to him. Um, I was honest though, I wasn't Dan Brown. Um, uh, what was I saying? <laughs>